can the following two numbers be multiplied? Well, I'm hoping you're starting to realize that you can't. Why? Because there are, there are exponents involved. So it seems like this is a pointless question. I mean, we can't do anything. But remember, up till now, we've been looking at questions like this, where we've always had numbers that are the same, and then we could combine them, right? So here we don't have any numbers that are the same, but these numbers can still be broken down. And so that's the key. You need to know how to break those numbers down into prime numbers. And remember in the previous video, we said that if you have a Casio calculator, it does that for you. All you do is you say 125 equals, you then type in, or you say shift, and then you look for the button slightly towards the left that says fact. And then it will do everything for you. And so what you'll find is that 125 is the same as 5 to the power of 3. So we do that, and then we open up a bracket, and we put the x plus 1. And then 45 is the same as 3 squared times by 5, and then we put the x on the outside like that. And so now what we can do, remember if we stick to our basics, what should we do with this 3 and that 2? We multiply. And so we're going to do the same over here. And so it's going to become 5 to the power of 3x plus 3. And then we're going to do the same in this bracket where we do the 3 first. So it's going to be 2 times x, which is 3 to the power of 2x. And then this 5 currently has a 1. And so it's going to become 5 to the power of x. And so now we at least have these 5s, which are the same. And so what should we do with the exponents? I mean, what would you do if you had a3 and a2? You would add the exponents and that would become 5. And so this is going to become 5 to the power of 3x plus 3 plus x. And then this 3 over here, we can't really do anything with that, so we'll leave it as it is. And so 3x plus x is 4x. And so we're going to end up with 5 to the power of 4x plus 3 times by 3 to the power of 2x. And there's not much more that you can do with that. And so let's try this next example. So this 81 and this 36 can't be combined at the moment. Why? Because there are exponents involved and their bases aren't the same. However, what if we change each of these numbers, so the 81 and the 36, what if we break them down into their smallest building blocks? Well, then maybe the two numbers will share some building blocks. So we know that 81, if you use the Casio trick, then it becomes 3 to the power of 4. Then you open up a bracket and you say x plus 1. Then 36 is the same as 3 squared times 2 squared to the power of x. The exponent rule then says that we should multiply those two, and so that becomes 4x plus 4. And then we have to do the exponent rule for the 3 and the 2. So it's going to be 2 times by x, which is 3 to the power of 2x, and then 2 to the power of 2x. So did they share any building blocks in common? Well, yes, 81 has a 3 in it somehow, and 36 also had a 3 in it somehow, and so we can combine them like that. So what does the exponent rule say? When those bases are the same, then you should add the exponents, and then that's going to become 6x plus 4, and then this will just hang out at the end as 2 to the power of 2x.